Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we have a chance to check a new kit from Model Collect. But first let me invite you to check a review of another kit from the same manufacturer which you can find here on our YouTube channel and also of course visit our website here uh, where you will find detailed articles. So this is a new 70 second scale kit, this time it copies T72BM model 1989 with cage armor, you can see it here on this nice beautiful box art. Here we have short list of the features which is printed in black color on the dark background so it's barely visible but it's written that there is a PE set and also metal barrel inside. Otherwise box design is quite typical, here you can see comparison with my hand size, so it's not that big box. Um, this is a top opening box. Inside we find a bunch of different sprues, so first let's check this small plastic bag with really tiny part, which will be used for the uh, commander's armor shield. I will show you in the moment. Here it is. So it's just a small PE part which will have to be installed on your tank. Of course it's better to use tweezers with these parts because otherwise it will be difficult to manipulate them. Uh, then we have plastic sprues packed like this into one plastic bag. So just give me a second to open it and we'll check them one by one. Okay, so here we have tower parts. As you can see, tower is molded or turret is molded uh, with separate uh, turret hatches and also with separate main gun mudlet. Molding quality is quite nice. We have even blocks of the external armor on the part. Inside, of course, there is no detailing, so uh, it's nothing to show through the open hatches, let's say. Uh, next plastic sprue is dedicated to the one piece barrel. Also here we have the um, barrel cover, machine gun and some minor elements which should be attached to the turret of the tank. Molding quality as you can see is quite nice. Of course you won't have to use this barrel but it's nice to see that it's molded as a one piece part. Because some manufacturers prefer two piece assembly. Uh, then here we have a uh, narrow or wide, let's say, <laughs> uh, plastic frame with, uh, let's say, external parts for the tank. So here we have uh, the glacis plate, here we have some uh, panels for the glacis plate, and here is a panel with external armor. So everything is molded quite nice quality, and here you can see that front section of the fenders is molded together with glazes. I can zoom a camera for you so that you will see them closer. So here it is and inside there is a special position slot as far as I can guess which should help with alignment I hope. Next we have another plastic sprue which is dedicated to the turret parts. Here we have the bottom part and also some parts for the hatches which were molded separately as you remember. Next we have a bit larger plastic sprue, here we have side fenders parts, also some external equipment, I'm not sure where those parts will be placed, and here you have another version of the glazes plate, and again we have to check the assembly manual in order to be sure which version will be used in this particular uh, kit. And here is a small plastic frame which is dedicated to the turret hatches parts. Of course this can be positioned open but I mean there is no detailing inside so it's nothing to display on the assembled model so the choice will be up to you. Uh, next we have another plastic bag. Here we have two similar plastic sprues. These are dedicated to the suspension parts and some external elements. For example, here we can find the fuel tanks. As you can see, wheels are molded as one piece parts. These are quite nice. I will zoom a camera so that you can see. And I think they should look nice on the assembled model too. So uh, everything will depend on the painting and weathering, of course. 
Uh, then here we have another portion of the wheels. Uh, also here we have side skirts. And then the top hole cover is molded as a one-piece part with separate glazes plate as you remember. So you will have to attach it here. But I am not worried about the parts fitment because usually in model collect kits it's quite nice. And here I want to show you closer the detailing of the engine cover which is also pretty. And here are drive sprockets which should be assembled out of two parts. Next we have quite unusual bonus for the model collect which becomes a good tradition. Uh, the plastic tracks, no vinyl on the plastic parts so you just glue them on the model and it's easy to paint them, it, it's easy to weather them so no problems with those elements. Next we have something like this. Uh, as you can guess that the bottom hole part which is made out of the metal. Just give me a second. Oops, sorry. It was uh, tape. But the part itself is molded out of the metal, uh, made out of metal and as you can see it features quite impressive molding quality and of course it will add to the weight of the model so it's worth using. Then we have small traditional decal sheet and of course assembly manual which is typical for the model collect. Then for the cage armor we have this PE thread and that's pretty much all. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual and don't forget to press the like button below. Bye!